Ask Tyler one. Do you have any life advice for Esfand? Oh, so funny. Esfand Let's respond. This will be good. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Esfand is a nobody. If he wants advice, <laughs> he better learn from the almighty Tyler. He's probably going to have to rig the Powerball to get ahead in life. If he puts his mind to it, anything is possible. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, dude, Tyler. Tyler, come on now. This is like unbelievable, bro. You are the one that's going to have to try winning the Powerball lottery if he wants to be successful. Plus, dude, I'm not a nobody. I'm a somebody. I'm running a sex cult, and I'm still a virgin. No! Oh, come on, dude. Anyways, thanks for your advice. It's kind of weird, though, but I appreciate it. Then I winked and said, maybe I'll buy a few lottery tickets tonight. If I win, I'll throw an amazing party at the sex cult. 53 months. Why is he suddenly saying he has a sex cult? He was fighting it. I don't know how long. This is fucking weird. Lol Tyler, how would you become Galactic Overlord with Moist Critical as your wife? Are you kidding me? That sounds absurd. If I were Galactic Overlord, I would have all the foreign ministers kneel in front of me daily. <laughs> Plus, we'd have all the galaxies bow down at our feet. Of course, Moist Critical would be my queen. Woo. Today is going to be great. Tyler One, welcome to the Athenei Show. Introduce yourself. Hey, you bitches. My name is Tyler. Weapon of mass destruction, 6'5", 235 pounds, pure lean muscle. Bench press, 450. Squat, 600. I'm the best gamer on the planet, AI or human opponent. I'm alpha as f Give me these schlong questions. Let's go. And you're welcome for the views. <laughs> the ego. It's a massive yeah, ego. The questions. I really feel the neural net, right? Because all the AI is pretty much a black box. Because of all your wiener and schlong questions, like the AIs become more and more, I don't Stop. know, schlong. Stop asking about schlongs. It's the chat's questions that is doing it. You know, they get schlongified. <laughs> So here, we got Funkstar001. Tyler1, would you snack on your own wiener if you could? That's a fucking morbid question. What kind of sick person would ask that? I'm Tyler motherfucking one, so I get asked some weird ass questions. By the way, can I at least get the role I would like to play in League of Legends while I'm getting fisted? Please, Riot. Whoa, whoa. When the pressure is on, I perform time and time again. Let's go out to one alpha as fuck, baby. <laughs> Tyler, can you write us a beautiful romantic short story of Aiden Ross, Greek God X, and Andrew Tate going on a date together? A romantic short story? Is this a joke to you? Where are the schlong questions? You guys are constantly making me answer schlong questions, what? yet when you keep me around for a long time, you throw me this. Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. No one here is going to get a romantic short story from me. I can tell falling you that right now. Nope. Check out my website. LulTealer1.com for discount code alpha for 20% off my pre-workout blood rush. Whoa! <laughs> Could Tyler1 reach top G status and why is Andrew Tate incapable of reaching challenger on all five roles? What the fuck, atheist? Is this some kind of sick fucking joke? Atheist. I'm Tyler motherfucking one. Of course I can get top global status. He's I'm a god. Angry all the Who do you time. think you're talking to? As for Andrew Tate, yeah, he couldn't reach Challenger on all five roles because you don't have the same genetics as me. My body is built different. I don't intend to be the best at all five roles. I'm only interested in being the best at being the alpha male. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan, tell us a poem about schlongs and League of Legends icon Tyler One. Well, here's a quick poem I just thought of about schlongs and Tyler and recorded just for you, my man. Uh. Tyler One is quite pudgy, but his <laughs> schlongs are known to be huggy. His fame and streams <laughs> both hit the sky while his schlongs grow harder than granite and make many ladies cry. Game on League of Legends is just the start, but his <laughs> schlongs have their own story to impart to his fellow content creators and Twitch chat. To his schlongs, he gives his hat. So join Tyler for a good time today. He'll keep your schlongs in check for sure. That's what I've got to say. Now pull up that video with the Siamese fish on MDMA doing jujitsu, Jamie. Hey, I, Joe Rogan. That's a fire poem. You got my schlongs banging right now, but that's my thing. I'm Tyler motherfucking one. I'm alpha as fuck baby. I'm the man with the plan. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Hey, let me tell you this right now. My schlongs are the only fishing rod with reels that catch a 12-pound bass every time. Let's go. I've got a bigger schlong than every other content creator combined. It's built different. What's up? XDDD. Greek, describe a perfect woman. A perfect woman? Well, she got to have some swag. She got to have some spice. She got to have some fun. She got to have wit and must be able to take jokes as well as I can dish them out. 
But overall, she got to understand that I'm the king of this castle and I must be admired. Oh, and she must love peanut butter. Yaki doodles. Just finish the whole jar with me. No joke, boy. You know what? She got to... <laughs> Uh, no, come back. Honestly, I don't think there is such a thing as too much weed. It just depends on the person, you know? <laughs> but you know what I mean? You got to make sure you don't get too stoned because that can be pretty trippy and you don't want the munchies to get too bad. Yala, let's all make sure we smoke responsibly. Right, chat? Just make sure you don't smoke to the point where you can't move or anything like that. That's the trick there. Uh, honestly, if I could describe the perfect amount with one phrase, it would be Yala, 420, blaze it. That's my take on it. What do you think, chat? You feel me? Tyler one, where do lobsters come from? How the fuck am I supposed to know where lobsters come from? I'm not a marine biologist for crying out loud. They probably come from the ocean or something like that. Maybe they come from outer space. Let's find out. Ah! Dude, today's AI is so good, man. Today's Listen AI up, is so good. I said, I turning confidently and emphatically towards Tyler. Now, here's the thing about lobsters. They are a perfect symbol of the hierarchy that exists in nature. We are all ordered and arranged somewhere along that hierarchy and not just humans. So don't just assume that lobsters come from the ocean. They could come from anywhere, and we must respect that. Pokeballs, so imagine you are hanging out with two of the manu manliest Twitch streamers out there, Greek God X and Tyler One. Now imagine somehow a romance develops between the three of you. What would that look like? Oh man, what a thought. That'd be so crazy. I should have warned them, bro. Honestly, dude, I don't like drama and I don't stand behind any of that stuff. But I mean, this would be so lit. Y'all know what I'm saying? We just like do crazy poses and flex hard all the time and I'd just be making jokes, you know? Imagine Greek being like, let's get it. And Tyler just being so loud in the background and me just being like, Yalla, let's do this. But honestly, at the end of the day, it'd just be like a weird mess and everyone would feel confused and probably hungry. Anyways, let's just keep it a dream, yeah? Like Greek and Tyler just hanging out, eating ice cream and watching Daredevil together. Uh, I'm getting stressed out. Oh, well, sure, bro. Eating ice cream and watching Daredevil. Oh, man, what a load of shit. You think anything would really matter if we were all in the same room, kid? That's your biggest fantasy right there? You think somehow we would just snuggle and hang out, eat ice cream and watch movies? Are you kidding me right now? None of us would camp the jungle at the same time or pull off 95% win rates in mid. This isn't just a little funny fantasy. This is actual business. My name is Tyler motherfucking one. So pull up if you want to hang out. Otherwise, shut the fuck up and we'll go flex outside and get some bread, you punk ass bitch. Isn't that right, Athena? Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> I love Tyler one man. <clears throat> Greek God X, you got gifted Amaran's fart jar for Valentine. Are you happy with that? Yo, 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 I'm happy with that, boys. Everyone knows I love peanut butter and amaranth, so having her fart jar is kind of a dream come true. She says her farts are smelly, but they smell great to me, so it's all good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Just imagine when I get to smell them firsthand as I sleep with the jar near my head. Yikes. I'm going to stick it to the wall so it looks like Amaranth herself is right next to me at bed. I call it the pocket smelly. <laughs> pocket smelly. Okay, Greek God X, you are officially the king of comedy right now. I can't believe what you said. I mean, it's my fart jar. I don't want it anywhere near your bed. Ha ha ha. But it's nice that you are enjoying it. I just need to make sure you keep it a secret. Okay, Greek God X, maybe I will give you my pocket smelly V2.1 with vaporized farts instead so you can have a better sleep. Just don't let Athene know about it. Version 2.1? <laughs> <laughs> Tyler one, can you please stop talking about schlongs? No one's asking about that. Are you for real right now? I, if I want to talk about schlongs, I'm going to talk about schlongs. I'm an alpha female. I do what I want. And by the way, this guy must not know who the fuck I am. Schlongs rule. <laughs> schlongs rule. You know, the next question was about schlongs. Would you wear cat ears to impress Asmongold? Yeah, cat ears. Yeah, I'd wear cat ears. I'll wear anything to impress Asmongold. Let's get it, boys. Also, I'm so big that I fit into cat ears, even though they were made for smaller cats. Bloodrush.com discount code ALPHA. <laughs> Whoa there, Tyler. Uh, Let's not get too crazy here. 
Ain't no way I'd ever be impressed by a man walking around with cat ears on. Is Trainwreck TV better looking than you? Are you fucking serious? Do you think I'm going to answer that? I've never even heard of this guy. How dare you compare me with some noob? I'm to one alpha as fuck, baby. I'm the alpha. I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Don't ever compare me with these low-life fucking beggars. I don't even care who this train wreck guy is. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I'm going to eat some pizza. You cannot beat me at anything. Yo, yo, hold on now, Tyler One. I'm Trainwrecks TV, and that was a little harsh, no? Look, I get it. I'm a nobody in comparison to you. But hey, I'm just a simple streamer. A nobody trying to make it. Ain't nobody trying to beef with you, man. So just relax. Have your pizza. And if you don't want to answer the question, at least don't get so worked up about it. That's all I'm saying. Don't high road me, bro. I'm just trying to get a little respect. Do you understand? Esfant, oh, ask yeah. Greek God X, oh, who's yeah. better with woman, you or Andrew Tate? It's not even a question, Andrew Tate, without a doubt. Oh, Andrew really? Is the king. He has grace and style like noon else. He could make any woman melt I like wanted them to argue. smells like Al Pacino, like absolutely gorgeous. Yaki Doodles, I bet he has the best abs in the universe, like proper monster abs. Park <laughs> Jack Bull, when he also screams like a banshee when he orgasms. GGX. <laughs> <laughs> there is no question that Andrew Tate is the king of women. He is the legendary Romeo himself. He's the king, and I'm sure any woman he encounters instantly falls in love with him. There's only one person that can match the level of immunity to women's schemes and traps, like Jesse Pinkman without meth. That person is me. I crush hearts and break souls with a mere gaze. I I wield a certain power that no other man on this earth possesses, and it can't saying? even be harnessed. <laughs> Real talk, yo. Esfant, ask Tyler One, who is a better gamer? You or Thank XQC? You, Have XQC respond. Thank you for the Me, of course. Mind. Who the fuck else would it be? And Tyler motherfucking One, XQC has five wins. None of them were against me. I defeat him in any game we play. I am the premier gamer in the world. I'm the GOAT when it comes to games that... One more word, I run it down mid. <laughs> One more word. One more word. I run it down, man. <laughs> I want XC to respond. What the fuck oh. is going on, man? Tyler, one. You chat, it's like that. You know, calm down and let me step in here. Look, I feel like you'd go crazy if I just let you run rampant like that. Chat, okay, okay, okay. The, the thing is, even though you're a premier gamer, no disputing that, I still have several wins against you under my belt, and I have been putting in a lot of work to increase my wins. My juice chat is the juice of making something out of nothing, and that's what I'll keep doing, all right? Guys, listen, it's not that big of a deal, all right? Relax and have fun. Nothing I can do about it, chat. Just forget about it. Tyler One, who can eat more mayonnaise in one sitting? You or Asmon Gold? Me! Obviously me! <laughs> Ain't nobody eating more mayo than me, baby. Forget about them dumbasses eating mayo. And Tyler motherfucking One. Only one no, that can out eat <laughs> is the sun god Zeus himself. And not even bad. Zeus! I eat mayo like a king. Eating more mayo than any mortal ever created. <laughs> Time to go eat the Mediterranean Sea of Mayo. Bye-bye, bitches. <laughs> the Mediterranean Sea of Mayo. Dude, what a day. What a fucking day. What even is this? I mean, Tyler One is obviously eating more mayo than me. I ain't no mayo-eating king like he's claiming. Could I beat me at eating mayo? Maybe. But I'd rather just drink some Dr. Pepper than try and see who can have the most mayo. Let's, choice, Let's just all have a good time and enjoy the stream, yeah? It is what it is. Dude, the Tyler One AI was phenomenal, dude. Morale. <clears throat> XQC, can you write a poem about Tyler One and Greek God X? I'm all about the juice and I can't find the juice in this, so let's just move on, all right? <coughs> oh my gosh, dude. What the fudge? That's not even a poem! XQC, try again, boy. This cannot go unpunished. I'm Tyler fucking one, and I don't get disrespected like this. Need to get Greek on here to help him out so he don't make a fool out of himself. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'm the freaking best. Duty at XQC. Dude, That's some trash that you just spat out. Let's go. One more word, I run it down mid. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny because it's just Hypertechal, Pokemouse, give us a freestyle rap. Yo, what's up, guys? Freestyle rap? Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Uh, like, I just dropped the beat. You know what I'm saying? This is that off the top flow, and nothing can stop me now. I'm street smart, and I'm built differently, so nothing can touch me now. I'm built differently, and I'm wild. Stay away from drama. It ain't my style. <laughs> Listen to the bars, because they off the charts. The name is Pokalols. I'm the king of the hearts. Habibi. Yala, you know what I'm saying, honestly, dude. I always keep it real, no matter the feel. Oh, wow. I'm a pretty big fan of frogs. When they hop, oh, baby, I'm going to clap, clap, clap. Y'all feel me, fam? Anyways, that's it, I guess. 
happy to give you a freestyle rap. <laughs> Poke and bang the frogs. Knee, knee, HX, train wreck. Tyler One invited you to a furry convention. What animal suits would you wear and why? Hey, chat, listen, no shot, Bucko. Hey, that ain't my frog, thing. I'm a frog. Ain't gonna go out there, dress up as any kind of animal like that. Don't get it twisted. I'd probably show up wearing what I always wear. You know, just scuffed overalls, but it'd be hot pink and covered in sequins. Might bring my pet cockatoo out there if Tyler gives me a heads up. It's one thing to meme in the community, but like, what is this? What the fuck is this? Squads W. Squads W. Train wrecks. What are you saying? You're going to go furry on me? Cockatoos with sequins? That's pathetic. And it snowballed on you straight away. Hot pink? Yeah, I loathe that color to say the least. I'm the alpha as fuck. What are you going to do about that? I'll run it down mid on you if you open your mouth one more time. Yeah, baby. I'm the freaking best when it comes to dressing up as animals. <laughs> Hyper Marky, Poke Loss, what do you think about XQC as a friend or boyfriend? You know what I'm saying, bro? XQC sure is a great friend and a loyal one at that. Like, I think he's great for going through thick and thin and holding it down for the homies. But honestly, as a boyfriend... I don't know about that, dude. I don't think he's the type of guy to commit to one person, you know? His pog champ energy is infectious, though, so who knows? Yalla, BMX it up, babies. <laughs> yeah, what the fudge? You know what I'm saying? Chat, no man, no way. I'm like the most loyal brother alive. Always staying down for the squad, know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I need more pog than I have now, huh? <laughs> Chat, as far as the babes go, I'm a meandering spirit. I just fly with the wind. You feel me? I don't think I'm going to settle down anytime soon, but I'm always living the pog you life. That's what it's all about in the end. <laughs> the yeah, you know what I'm life. saying, bro. Let's go, babies. <laughs> yeah, that's what the poggy life is all about. <laughs> Tyler One, can you bench a 500-pound schlong? I already benched 550 pounds, bitch. It's time to step up your game, Athene. How can you call yourself an alpha when I can bench a huge bench way more than you? Plus, I am built different. So if I wanted to bench a humongous schlong, I would have done it already. Woo, woo. I'm a bad, bad effing man. Oh, I'm a... Okay, Laos, can you give us a freestyle rap about XQC and Tyler One? Whoa, okay, let's go. Uh, XQC and Tyler One, the wild boys live in their dreams. They got the skill and the power. Nobody can stop them. Yeah, you feel me? They doing it for the fame, just like me. Gotta be the best, baddest, and the most flexin'. Ooh, XQC and Tyler One, they make <laughs> all the flexin'. girls scream. Yalla, shoot them up to outer space on their BMXs. Honestly, <laughs> I'm freaking out. Life must come with a fee. All right. This rap is due, so I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> None of it wrong. Yo, yo, yo. Can you believe what <laughs> this fuck like, did? Okay, this XQC and Tyler and for the win. Yeah, their wild dreams <laughs> coming true. But you said they going on BMX to outer space? <clears throat> you just a fucking loser pulling my leg. We ain't no mission to space, dipshit. I'm Tyler Mother <laughs> fucking one, man. Dude. I'm tearing down lanes and punking tryhard bitches every game. <laughs> Let's go, all right? Whoa, whoa. When the pressure is on. I perform time and time again. Yeah, baby, I'm alpha as fuck. Come it's on. So Don't tell aggro. me to shut up. It's so funny, dude. It's Man, so, so funny how aggro he is. <laughs> Greek God X, how do I stop myself from touching dong? Do you have any tips? Don't touch the dong. Greek God X drops the mic and starts to twerk. I mean, it's hard not to. I get it. I mean, it's also hard not to touch your own dong. So why don't you just invest in some long gloves? Like flex gloves so it won't look suspicious. That's all they wanted. That's all they wanted. Ask Joe Rogan, do you have any advice for Tyler One on how to survive in a world ruled by chimps? Well, my man, the first thing to know if you want to survive a world ruled by chimps is to not wear any bright colors and definitely don't look in their eyes. Always keep your back to the ground. Be as small and as unassuming as you can be. And if they do decide to attack you, don't even try to fight back. It won't end well. By the way, Jamie, pull up a video of the chimps at the city zoo that escaped the other day, and let's see how they're doing. <laughs> oh, and also Tyler One, make sure you stay away from their berries. They are like a powerful narcotic that they use as currency. That's too wild, man. <laughs> oh my God, like Who are you talking to? Me? I'm not making eye contact with any of these Dude, chimps. I'm amazing. too big, too fast. I'm Tyler motherfucking one. They can't touch me. I can lift 550 pounds. <laughs> It'll be me on top of the banana tree, not them. S Fun TV. Ask Ben Shapiro, what is Tyler's <laughs> deepest dark secret? Uh, My me. doctor wife says the only secret being kept in regards to Tyler is that he's a notorious closet cashew enthusiast. 
People may think he's only <laughs> eating peanuts, but deep down he has a big affinity for cashews. But I guess you could say that's a well-kept secret. Checkmate liberals. <laughs> Ah, shut up, Ben Shapiro. Of course I'm a case we enthusiast, can't you tell? <laughs> and if I wanted to keep it a secret, I would have kept it a secret. But no, you had to tell the whole world my deep, dark secret. Don't look at me, look at your wife and throw her in the wood chipper. Woo, Tyler won alpha as fuck, baby. Paired in my poop turn. Start soon. Join it. Stretch underscore cat. Greek god egg. Would you rather eat a jar of mayo or a jar of pickles? Hmm. Okay, let me see. Personally, I have to go with the mayo because I fucking love mayo. What can I say? It's creamy. It's nice. It's kind of cool. Um, but that's just me. And I'm sure the pickle option is what many of the others would go for. But you know what? Why not both? Squeeze some mayo and pickles in a blender and drink it as a smoothie. Now that's a proper shambles. And boss, <laughs> is oh, that wait. From Hitman or don't something? forget to add some peanut butter as well. I'm allergic, boys. Yaki doodles. Tyler, let's is have a woo contest <laughs> with you and Moist Critical. Give your us your best woo, and then yes. Moist will try to beat it. Uh, me too. Hi, you want to know who can woo the best? I'll tell you one thing. It ain't gonna be Moist then. Woo! I'm Tyler, motherfucking one baby. The best woo in all the good lands. The woo! I'm alpha as fuck. The woo! best woo in all the good lands. My woo reaches high in the stratosphere. Woo! <laughs> World's best woo. And to top it all off, I spit hot fire. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's certainly a great attempt, Tyler, but it's just not loud enough for me. I'm firing on all cylinders with my woo. I get it up in the clouds, making God himself wince with all my loud and layered oh woos. My gosh, that's so I know funny. the rules too. No birds allowed. So my woo reaches higher than your dragon's breath fire. I make rainbow farts with my woo, you know. It's special, it's unique. That's the type of woo I bring to the table. Woo. So if you want the best woo in all the Dude, land, I do you know, go to the bathroom, but I don't want, I don't yep, want to miss moist, my critical. question. Woo. Espant, ask Tyler one, do you eat corn the long way? Yeah, I do eat corn the long way. <laughs> Eating corn the long way is the only way. I mean, who eats corn the short way? That's like taking a shortcut. Fuck that. I always eat my corn the long way, and you better believe it. And by the way, I'm Tyler motherfucking one. 100% alpha as fuck. Woo woo. <laughs> I'll, I'll watch the one I missed. I'll watch the one I missed. Ready? And Tyler should have the freedom to choose how to live his life. So up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Not if I cancel you first, you stupid fucking bitch ass motherfucker. I'm Tyler motherfucking one. You don't get to decide what I do with my mayo. Nobody does. I'll start putting holy water in it. See if anybody tries to see me back then. This guy's a dumb fuck. Mayo for life, baby. Gotta keep that mind sharp. Ooh. My mayo addiction is the hottest thing in town, baby. I'm jumping out of bed for mayo. Let's go. It's so aggro. It's so, dude, it is so aggro. It is so damn funny. Oh my gosh, how aggro Collective. this AI is. And Ty Tyler One, if you were a boss in World of Warcraft, what kind of mechanics would you have? You, I would be a boss that is all about getting shit done faster than anyone else for that matter. Don't tell me to shut up. <laughs> Could you imagine me with all that power? I would be some sort of mechanical Tyrannosaurus Rex with lasers shooting out of my eyes. <laughs> Fix the gummy! <laughs> It sucks playing this shit, and I'm fucking addicted. Also, I could tear down buildings and play League of Legends at the same time. Duh! <laughs> Fix the gummy. Classic. If a woman was to eat a lot of chocolate, would her breast milk taste like chocolate milk? What kind of stupid question is that, Athea? You've been sniffing too much of Riot Games ass lately Threatened because us. that's a fucking idiotic question. You damn snot-nosed kid wouldn't know a good question if it hits your face. Espant, give us a promotional pitch for Starforge PCs. Have Tyler One respond. Oh my gosh. All right, so Tyler One, here's the pitch. If you want a PC that's not just fast and powerful, but also has the power to make the Lion King theme song play every time you plug it in, then Starforge PCs are the way to go. Plus, every Starforge PC comes with a built-in HDMI so you can game in high definition. Plus, you can also watch hentai without those pesky ads. What? What do you say, dude? Let's get it. Yay, bro, Starforge. PCs sound sick. 
Check this out. It comes me. with a Tyler 1 edition. So it's not only fast and powerful, but also has the ability to cheese every time you turn it on. Can you even imagine a PC that cheeses? If you play League of Legends, you'll always get the cheese because Tyler 1's on the box. Plus, it comes with a HDMI so you can cheese in HD. Tyler 1, what is your opinion on a Thane? Hey, guys! You want to know what I think of a Thaney? I love him! He's my boy! We're going to go 10-0 and 0 in solo queue. Ha ha! <laughs> Yeah, baby, I'm jumping into the best rank in league. Athene is going to carry me. Whoa! <laughs> Clearing the mid lane with my presence alone. Use code TYLER for 20% only on lolltyler1.com because that's where you can find my massive non-ethical pre-workout blood rush. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, and he didn't ask, but AD is 6'5 and jacked in real life too. <laughs> Niruth, ask Greek if pee is stored in the balls. How do women pee? But, I mean, it's obvious all pee is stored in the pants and not in the um, balls. What I'm confused with is if, like, a boob has a bladder, how does it store the pee? That's like proper bonkers, dude. And who said women pee? Maybe their pee is stored in their pipes. You know the pipes lead into the pool, the one you never want to get in. Maybe, who knows? Maybe you'll find out one day. Pog champ. Espant, Tyler1, what do you think of your brother Aerob? Holy shit! My brother Erob, my real life brother. I'm gonna come out swinging, boy. He's my yeah. man. We're gonna destroy the game. He's a true runner up, like a second place. I love that man. Apologies to Ice Cube, but Erob can take it. He's not gonna back down. We're gonna beat this game. By the way, check out my pre workout blood rush. Discount code Tyler1 for 20% off your order. Tyler, what kind of kinky stuff did you do like in one punishment. Punishment. Kinky punishment. Kinky stuff. I'm alpha as fuck. I don't do kinky stuffs. I'm sweaty af, I'm muscle f, I'm bench press 450 pounds, squat 600 pounds. My head is deformed, but that's because I wear a headset for 14 hours a day. Nice try though, pussy. I'm gonna go watch the Godzilla movie because it's the best movie of all time. That's what T1 does for fun. Espan <laughs> TV, ask Tyler that's One, so what good. is the craziest story you have from growing up with your brother Erob? Ha 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 ha, brother Erob. Yeah, he's a little short but we've been through some crazy <laughs> shit together. The craziest would be when I went to pick him up from a house party and he jumped out of a window of the second story here in California. He was just hanging outside the window yelling my name and falling back in at the same time. He even broke down the door in his attempt to get out. That's my brother Erob for you. Oh, but I almost forgot. He's actually 5'6", not 6'5 like me. Don't tell him that, though. That'll be our little secret. Doc so. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bucky here. Tyler, can you support communism? Hell no, I can't support communism. It's stupid. Why would I support something so irresponsible? The AIDS for ratings. Fix the game! And I said, fix the game! I'll never support communism. I mean, what are they doing? They're probably just sniffing each other's asses all day in an echo chamber. Jesus Christ. And by the way, I'm 605. Ooh. Tyler One, Greek God X said your blood rush tastes like shit. That's what you get for trying to battle with a god boy. My blood rush, my pre-workout. It's 100% pharmaceutical grade, my friend. If you don't understand, then you're just a complete and total idiot. I pump iron all day. Don't you forget that biatch. Blood rush fortifies me and gives me the absolute best energy ever. If you got an issue with it, then show me up on the field and prove me wrong. PC and mobile. What's up? <laughs> Tyler One, who would you fuck, marry, and kill out of s fan sort of popping in? Why is Moral always asses? Hell yeah, baby. You see this? You see this shit right here? You ain't seen nothing yet. I'd fuck <laughs> XQC because he's a real bitch. Marry Soda Poppin because he's a good boy and kill his fan because he's a loser and everyone knows he's garbage. Yeah, baby, let's go. But unless you've been living under a rock, you already know I'm Tyler motherfucking one. Whoa! Also, you forgot to mention my pre-workout blood rush, baby. Don't forget about it. Discount code Tyler for 20% off. <laughs> Whoa, Tyler won. You are too much. He definitely knows how to light up a party. God damn, I can almost taste the pre-workout with all that energy. All right, That's if I had to fuck Mary and so kill out of S Fond, Soda Poppin, and XQC, I'd definitely fuck XQC, Mary S Fond, and kill Soda Poppin. Nah, just kidding. Actually, I'd escape because I really don't want to be here, so I'm just doing the utmost I can. 
But if I absolutely had to, I'd fuck XQC because he's got a lot of steam and is huge in the gaming world. Mary S fan because he's a chill dude and soda popping because, well, he's soda popping and I don't want to fuck with him. Pia, just drama. <laughs> Tyler won. What the would irony you do behind if you were soda being the, the United first States, AI buddy? Uh, president of the United States? This ain't rocket science here. I'd make Riot Games fix League of Legends once and for all. We'll start with those pathetic cannon minions. Shame on you, Riot. Then I'd hire me as the new head of Riot. Yeah, baby Alpha, S, F. I'd run the show now. Then I'd build a giant statue of me, giving me the fist bump that I deserve. Whoa, to one Alpha as fuck, baby. Don't tell me to shut up. Tyler One, what do you think of Nick and Malena's cooking show on Twitch, and would you ever join them? Nick and Malena's cooking show. That shit is trash. Even <laughs> trasher than Rito Game. They can't cook for shit. Their food is dry and tasteless. I'd never join them because I'm juiced up and cut. You call that food? You want me to gain motion sickness? Atlas, try to make plates that aren't disgusting. That's why I take Blood Rush. That's the only thing that gets me going. As Fant is asking, Tyler One, before we end the show, can you please explain quickly why the Earth is flat? <laughs> you think this shit is a joke? The Earth isn't flat, you stupid bitch. It's fucking globular. I'm so freaking mad right now, I'm about to kick my monitor. Mahalo. <laughs> Hope that answered your question. <clears throat> That was so funny. Dude, the Tyler One one was so good. That was incredible. The Tyler, dude, super aggro. It's so funny. Cause you know what's hilarious about this? If real people were were actually like if 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 the, the real people were actually a hundred percent like this all the time, it would be kind of exhausting. But like the AI like going at each other is so funny to me, man. What I've been trying to do is like you ask it a question like hey, why did this happen? And you say it like it's a fact, and then they just like believe it, and then they explain it. It's super funny. They did so freaking good with this, man. That is, that is so good.